High heels. They're everywhere, from the red carpet to the runways, to the busy streets of New York City. From your sister's closet to your mother's, to even maybe your grandmother's. But what are high heels and how are they different from the oh-so-similar platform shoes? Plus, do high heels make women powered or more like a sex symbol? And what are they physically doing to a, a woman's body? And you won't believe what I have to say about men and heels. Let's take a step into the world of high heels. What are high heels? High heels are shoes, typically strapless, that elevates one's heel higher than their toes. High heels range from two inches to five inches. Six inches or more if one wants to be ever so slightly impractical. It's very easy to mix up the high heel with the platform shoe. However, once you know the differences, it's obvious platforms have their own style. First off, platforms are shoes with an obviously six sole, which elevates the wearer's toes and heels one to four inches. That's the key difference between high heels and platforms. Secondly, platforms have a thicker base in heels, and the angle from one's heel to the toe on platforms is far less extreme than on high heels. But if you think some of those heels you see today, see today on the TV or on the internet are crazy, you should have seen some of the heels from a long time ago. One of the oldest counts of high heels dates back to the Persian Empire. Equestrian warriors would wear high heels to, so that when they stood up, they would have better balance when firing their bow and arrows. If we take a few steps forward to the 16th century, men are still wearing high heels, but not necessarily for war. Kings and royals would wear... <laughs> Nobles and royalty would wear high heels to make them physically taller than those around them. This was to show their higher social status. King Louis XIV rocked red sole high heels and for more than just fashion. Louis would have any noble and royal favor wear have red soles on their heels. So having red heels was like sitting at the cool kids table. And if you're kicked out of that group or lost royal favor, everyone would know. So Louis used high heels to monitor subordinates. Eventually, women started to wear high heels as well. In the 16th century, women had a type of shoe known as the Chopin. Though not necessarily a heel, this shoe was still something else. Some Chopins are nearly two feet tall, and most of the time, women had to have servants either help them carry, had to either carry or help them walk around. The Chopin's purpose? To show a woman's social status and wealth. The Chopin's height allowed a woman's dress to be longer and bigger. And the more extravagant a woman's dress, the more wealth they had. The French Revolution brought the downfall of high heels, and by the time they popped back up, it was mainly women who were wearing them. By the 20th century, heels were more, if not wholly, associated with women. By now, the 21st century, heels are completely aimed towards women. Models, celebrity, businesswomen, your average day girl. More likely, they have a pair or two of high heels in their closet. With that being said, what are high heels doing for women? And I'm not talking about the advertisement that makes women look like they're all shoe crazy. I'm talking about how they make women look. Are heels making them empowered or more like a sex symbol? In 2013, the, human, the Evolution in Human Behavior Journal released the results of a study focusing solely on the way women walked. Those in high heels were judged significantly more attractive than those in flats by both men and women. But is this a bad thing? It depends on the side that you're on. Some women say that wearing high heels makes women feel and look more confident and self-assured. In a mostly male-dominant workspace, the high heels allow women to be at eye level with male superiors. However, some heels, like the stiletto, cross the line between work appropriate and not. But what about your average day sinks? A study led by scientists from the University of Southern Brittany in France had a group of 19 to 25 year old women interact with males 25 to 50. One experiment had women drop their gloves. 50% of men were more likely to pick up the glove for the woman if she was in high heels. Another experiment had women ask men to take a survey. About double were more likely to get answers in heels than in flats, and a whopping 83% success rate for those in the highest of heels. But why? There's no denying that many men and women believe that high heels make women appear sexier. But how women feel in them should be far more important than how they look. And heels add stress to a woman's back and hips, causing their buttocks to stick out. 
This pose is considered sexy and many women find not work appropriate. So girls, maybe save your five, it, five inch stilettos for your night out on Friday. But how do heels make a woman look? And now I'm not talking about empowerment or sex appeal. Now I'm talking about what they physically do to a woman's body. No matter what side you're on, tread carefully. Several studies show that high heels can lead to permanent damage to women's feet. And walking in heels stiffens women's Achilles tendon. Since the Achilles tendon anchors our calf muscles, when the tendon stiffens, one's calf muscle starts to bunch up. So when women take off their heels, it's hard for them to walk normally or in flats. Women's Health Magazine released an article talking about what heels do to women's bodies. From the ankles to the backs, heels affect a lot of body parts. That sexy pose I mentioned earlier with someone's buttocks sticking out actually works the outer hip muscles and tendons in a very bad way. The back, the way women have to walk, causes their back to sway in an unnatural ma manner, a process that stresses the lower back muscles and leads to a very, very sore lower back. Now that pretty pose that heels cause doesn't seem worth it, but is this stopping women? No. Women are coming up with different ways of saving their feet. Instead of wearing the heels to that conference or that forensic tournament, women are having on flats on the way there and just slipping on the heels when they get there. Or if they're sitting at work or listening to a boring presentation, just, they just slip their feet out of the heels every now and then and give their feet an ankle a breather. Today, we've stepped into the world of high heels from their small but drastic differences from platform shoes to their male-filled history to how they make women look to others and how they actually alter women's bodies. Heels are nothing short than what they're meant to be, sexy yet empowering both at the same time. However, the next time you see that pretty girl walking down the street in her six-inch stilettos, think about what she's doing to her body.